Hope everyone's doing well today. I'm Cameron Meredith with AD West Coast. Uh, today in this video, we're going to go through steps when building an ADU. Um, that way, everybody kind of has an idea of um, how we build these. Um, certain groups, you know, might do a little bit different things different ways, but um, in retrospect, it's all pretty much the same. And uh, when building an ADU, it's very similar to building a larger home. Um, you know, if you're building a ground up ADU, uh, the process is the same. So uh, again, we're going to go through this real fast. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment and like. Uh, also subscribe to our YouTube channel because we do put out a lot of info for ADUs. Um, but with that, uh, we'll get started. And, um, you know, as we go through this, uh, comment if you guys have questions. You can always call us or email. Here are some of our uh, contact info below. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to comment, uh, which is a good way to communicate. So uh, first step in building an ADU um, is let's just talk about a ground up construction. This is one we just completed in Long Beach. Uh, so the first step is pre prepare construction site and pour foundation. Um, so obviously before any of that happens, you have to go apply for a permit with the local city and um, you have to do your uh, required drawings, your uh, engineering plans, and uh, basically package that to submit to the city. So once you get uh, approved by the city, which right now it's taking quite a while because of COVID, um, so could be three and a half months, could be four months, you, you just kind of don't know uh, depending on the city. But again, that would be the absolute first step. Once you get your permit approved, now you're ready to start construction. And from here on out, I'll talk about uh, all the phases uh, that that involves. So once you get your permit, you're gonna um, level the site. That's number one. Uh, here, obviously we leveled that before we poured all that uh, footing and whatnot. Um, the uh, next step would be putting up wooden forms for the temporary foundation. As you see here, there's those wooden forms on that picture. Uh, footings are installed. So this would be your footings on the outside. And then you'll get your first inspection. So the inspector is going to go there from the city, uh, make sure that everything, you know, is built properly or is up to code and uh, you get your uh, approval for that. Uh, the next phase is your rough framing. Um, here's some pictures here. Uh, your floor system, your walls, your roof systems are completed. Sheathing applied to exterior walls covered with pre protective wrap. So right here, you're going to see that. Um, that would be the next phase is, is completing your framing. And then, uh, as mentioned here, your sheathing applied uh, exterior protective wrap uh, to protect from moisture. Uh, third step, complete rough plumbing, electrical, HVHC. Those are the, uh, the main steps. Um, the following are installed though within this step. Uh, first is pipes and wires, uh, sewer lines and vents, water supply lines, bathtub, shower units, duct work for HVAC systems, and then HVAC pen, uh, vent pipe, excuse me. Um, this phase, you'll also see inspections two, which is rub framing, three, which is plumbing, and four, electrical. Um, here, you can kind of see this is your, your, your plumbing that you can see exposed. Here's your electrical. And then obviously, um, this is your, your mini split HVAC system um, that we use for all our ADUs. So that just kind of gives you guys an idea there. But again, this is where going to be uh, the majority of your inspections take place, uh, number two, three, and four. Uh, next up is insulation. There's different types of insulation, um, which we'll cover. Uh, but obviously, insulation is an important part of the building process. Um, in California, we have Title 24, which is energy efficient standards. Um, so we'll go through here. And again, here's some common types of what's in some of these new homes. Uh, fiberglass, which you'll see right here, that's a type of insulation. It's pretty common. We have cellulose, foam mineral board, concrete blocks, insulation concrete forms, uh, spray foam, which is right here, that's pretty easy. Uh, structural insulated panels, foam board or rigid board form. Uh, the next step will be complete drywall and interior fixtures and then start exterior finishes. So drywalls hung and taped, as you can see here, there's a picture of that process. Texturing is completed. Primary coat of paint is applied. Exterior finishes, so brick, stucco, stone, et cetera. Here's some stucco here that they're working on. Um, sorry, 
admit to that next page pretty fast. Next step will be finish interior trim, install exterior walkways and driveway. Um, so your doors, your window sills, your decorative trim is installed. Uh, as you can see right here, there's some of that uh, trim on the outside of the windows, your door trim, etc. cetera. Uh, next step will be your cabinets, vanities, fire mantles are installed. Um, as you can see here, some pictures of some people installing some of their kitchen cabinets. And then uh, your final coat of paint. So here we have a guy painting the exterior of the house. Again, these are not my pictures. I just kind of found some online. Some of them are, but some of them are just random pics we found online. The next step would be uh, install hard surfacing flooring, countertops, and then complete exterior grading. So um, as we go through this, you know, there's different types of flooring that people can install. Um, you know, pretty common for ADUs is vinyl. That's probably the most common, uh, but your ceramic tile, your wood flooring, whatever you want, that's the uh, process here that we install. Uh, also countertops are installed. As you can see here, here's a guy installing countertops. And then there's your uh, flooring down there. Um, next step would be finish mechanical trims, uh, install bathroom fixtures. Here we have uh, just a nice bathroom. So you're gonna install your, your, your uh, toilet, um, some of these fixtures here on the uh, shower, shower head, et cetera. Um, after that, then you're gonna install mirrors, shower doors, finish flooring, and then your exterior landscaping. So um, again, we're installing, here's a guy installing mirrors here, shower doors, carpeting, if you want carpeting inside your bedrooms, et cetera. Uh, then your final cleanup takes place. I know these guys are kind of in the construction process as you see, but uh, just an idea, um, we're going to clean up the site and uh, basically get that uh, ready for the final inspection. Uh, also trees, shrubs and grass are planted and other exterior landscaping. Um, when we build our ADUs, landscaping is not included in our bid, um, but obviously we, we do have contacts and we do do the landscaping for them if they want to. So. Uh, just something to know about us, but uh, if you did get the landscaping, that would be a part of that process. And then um, here's going to be your final inspection. Um, once you know this passes inspection, you get your certificate of occupancy, and um, you can do whatever you please with the ADU. Um, you can rent it out. You could move a family member back, whether it's an elder or a younger uh, kid or grandkid, whatever it is. Um, that is your new unit to do whatever you'd like. And then uh, that's pretty much it. I just, again, wanted to keep it short and sweet. That way you get an idea of what the process is like. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions for me, if you want videos for me to put out information uh, specific to kind of what you're looking for, feel free to comment. Um, you can also contact us through our social medias, Instagram at ADU West Coast. Facebook is just ADU West Coast. And then our website here, aduwestcoast.com. So uh, that's it for today. But like I said, uh, any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll put some more videos out here shortly. And um, we'll talk to you guys soon.